Welcome to this lesson on VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP in LibreOffice Calc. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. Basically, it searches vertically down the leftmost column of an array for a value, then returns a value in another column to the right. The array must contain at least two columns, obviously. If VLOOKUP is set to search through a column of unsorted values, it will search vertically down the first column for a value, then return another value on the same row in a specified column. If the value is not found, it returns a not available error message, like this. If it is set to search a column which is sorted in ascending order, it will search down the column for a match. If it finds an exact match, it'll return the value on the same row of the specified column. If it reaches a value greater than the value being looked up, it'll jump up one row to the next lower value and return a value in the specified column of that row. If it reaches the end of the column without finding a match, it'll return the value in the last row of the specified column. The parameters for VLOOKUP are the search criteria, this is the value being searched in the leftmost column. Next parameter is the array of cells which contains the column being searched and the column with the value to be returned. The next parameter is the index. This is the number of the column with the value to be returned, counting from the left. The last parameter is the sort order. If the table is not sorted and you want to get an exact match to the search criteria, then this should be zero. If the table is sorted in ascending order and you want the closest match, then this should be one. That's a lot to take in. It's best demonstrated in some examples. First, I'll create a drop-down list so we can present the user with some products in the list to look up. This will avoid any errors in the search. Click in the cell where you want the drop-down to appear, A8 here. In the menu at the top, click Data, then choose Validity. You can also access it by holding down Alt and pressing DV. Click the Allow drop-down and choose Cell Range. Click the Source Input box then on the spreadsheet, drag and highlight the values you want in the drop-down, A2 to A5. Click OK. Now when you click the arrow to the right of the drop-down cell, you can choose a product. In the first example, the table is unsorted and an exact match is needed. When I choose a product in the drop-down, the price will be displayed in cell B8. So click in cell B8, type equals VLOOKUP, press ENTER, click the cell with the criteria to look up, which is the drop-down in A8. Type a comma. Now we need the array of cells containing the value being looked up and the value being returned. Drag and highlight A2 to D5. Type a comma. The index is the number of columns to the left from the column you're looking up. This would be the fourth column from the left, the price column. So type four. Comma. Finally, the sort order. This is an unsorted table and we want an exact match. So type a zero. Press enter. Now when you change the product in the drop-down, the price will display in B8. If I didn't create a drop-down and the user had to type the product name in, they could make an error typing or enter a product which isn't on the list. If that happened, a not available error would be returned in B8. Creating a drop-down avoids these kind of errors. Here's how VLOOKUP works when you want a close match to a value in a column that's sorted in ascending order. A good example would be a table of commissions. 
First, click the cell where you want the result, B8 in this case. Type equals VLOOKUP, press enter. Click the cell with the search criteria, A8. Type a comma. Next is the array of cells with the value being looked up and the value being returned. Drag and highlight A2 to B5. Type a comma. Then the index, the number of the columns to the left from the column you're looking up. There's only two columns, so two in this case. A comma. Sort order. The column is sorted and we want the closest match. So type 1. Press enter. $6,000 is greater than the highest amount in the column. So it returns the commission on the last row, 10%. Now, if I change the amount to $1,000, it will find an exact match and give me the commission on the same row and return 5%. If I put in $999, it will search down the list, come to $1,000, then jump up one row to the next lowest amount and give me a 1% commission. Missed it by $1. I would feel cheated, but that's the way it works. One more thing to show you is HLOOKUP. It's the horizontal version of VLOOKUP. It searches horizontally across the top row of an array for a value and returns the value in another row. It works exactly the same as VLOOKUP, but searches across columns instead of down a row. The following example is much like the first example in this lesson, except the products and prices are in rows rather than in columns. I've created a drop-down list of products to look up here in B6. Click in cell C6 where we want the price to be displayed. Type equals HLOOKUP. Press Enter. Click the cell with the value to look up, which is the drop-down in B6. Comma. Now drag and highlight the array, which is B1 to E4, comma, type the number of rows down from the row you're looking up, which is 4, comma, this is an unsorted table and we want an exact match, so type 0, press enter. Now change the products in the drop-down and you'll get the price. Tables are not usually arranged this way, so it's rare that you would ever use HLOOKUP. Well, that concludes this lesson on VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Thanks for watching!